<laughs> hey, what's going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and in this video I'm going to be showing you all just a little bit of a basic tutorial here, but for anybody getting started with a jailbroken PS4, how you can FTP to and from the PlayStation 4. That means that you'll be able to use your network to connect to the PlayStation 4 and copy, paste, modify, move, manipulate files to and from the console itself. So this can be useful for several different methods if you ever do anything that requires FTP access. This will require a few things. First of all, this will require your jailbroken PlayStation 4 and the basic knowledge on how to use it, jailbreak it, and get it onto your own internal network. I will have a video linked down below showing how you can jailbreak your PlayStation 4. Secondly, we're going to be using Gold Hen for this, so if you have jailbroken a PlayStation 4 before and know how to use it, you should be a little bit familiar with Gold Hen. And of course, you are going to need your PlayStation 4 on the same network as a computer that you're going to FTP to and from. I'm going to cover all that here pretty shortly. But first, let's go ahead and get the PlayStation 4 side of house sorted. Since we are going to be using Gold Hen for this because it has a built-in FTP server, we can go ahead, go over to our settings. And for network, we do have to make sure that this is on the same network as your computer. So for this, I'm going to be using a wired connection, as well as my computer is also using a wired connection, and they're on the same network. It doesn't have to be wired to wired, it can even be, you know, wired to Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi to wired, whatever it is, but as long as they're on the same network, the two devices, you'll be okay. Next up, we're going to run Gold Hen. So for this, you're just going to have to access your host of choice. I'm going to be using Al Azif's host, and we're going to run Gold Hen. Just give this a few moments. And there we go. Once it has been loaded up, we can press the PlayStation button. We're going to go back over to settings, go up to Gold Hen, and here we're going to enable FTP server. So there we go, we have our local IP address, be sure to keep that in mind, as well as the port number. With all that on hand, we can now go over to our computer, but keep this up and running. You don't have to be on this page, you can still like navigate here on the PlayStation 4, but just stay here at the XMB, don't open up any games or anything else at the moment, and we're going to go over to our PC. Over at the PC, at least on Windows, I'm going to be using and recommending WinSCP. A link to this will be down below in the description, and you can just click on Download Now, and from here, download this. Make sure you can save it somewhere you can easily find it and go through the install process. Once that's all done, you can go ahead and launch WinSCP. Now from here, this might look a little bit daunting, but it's pretty easy to utilize. You're just going to have to punch in the credentials for your PlayStation 4. So first, over at the file protocol, we're going to change this to FTP, no encryption, and enter in the host name, which is the IP address of your console. In case you did not remember or note down the IP address that came up, that's perfectly fine. You can always go over to settings, go all the way down to system, go to system information, and right there, that is the IP address that you're going to be punching in. Make sure you get your IP address on hand. The port is going to be 2121, and we're going to do anonymous login. From here, to make this easier, you can also save this and we can just call it PS4, for example, and save the password to make it easier. At that point, you can click Login, and there we go. So on the left here, this is going to be wherever we're navigating right now on our computer. And on the right, this is going to be the PlayStation 4 itself. I would never recommend going crazy in here and just deleting stuff willy nilly, but this is in case you ever have to follow a guide and you have to figure out where to either modify, copy, delete files, or what have you on this. Now, just as an example, if you want to transfer any files to this or create a directory, I'll show you. In this example, I'm going to be transferring over some payloads so I can use them for payload guest here on the PlayStation 4. So if you're following a guide, you just have to follow along with the path where you need to navigate. I'm going to go over to my data folder, and I do have to make a folder in here called payloads. If you ever want to make a folder, you would right click over here, click on new, directory, and call it whatever you need to. I'm calling mine payloads, and at this point, I'm going to navigate in here on the left, you're going to navigate to wherever you need to obtain the files from on your computer, and you can go over to wherever they are. So I know they're going to be in this folder. Here are all the payloads I'd like to transfer over, 
And for any of them, you can really just right click, upload, hit OK. And quite the opposite. If you ever need to download any files from your PlayStation 4, right click, download, OK. It transfers them to your computer. It's that easy. You can even drag and drop as well too. So in this example, I'm going to go into my 900 folder. Just grab everything except for app to bin drag and drop them over here. And as you can see, everything is well, just like that transferred over to the PlayStation 4. So there we go. It's that simple. That's how you can do it. Whenever you're done, just be sure to disconnect. So you can exit out of here or exit out of WinSCP. I prefer to exit out this method. And that's about it. Finally, while you're running Goldhen, if you ever want to disable the FTP server, you can just go over to Settings, Goldhen, and uncheck Enable FTP Server. So there we go. It's been disabled on the console itself. Anyways, that is about all for this video. I know a pretty simple and easy one here, but hopefully something that will help out many future and even current PS4 jailbreak owners in case they need to FTP over to their console. Anyways, that is about it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, a like would absolutely be appreciated. And if you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well too. This is Mr. Mario, signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone.